In this episode of Selling Nanji, we attempt to sail upwind and get smashed by heavy squalls. Yosh catches a stomper, I catch us lunch, Mali still isn't pulling his weight and we overnight upwind sail 80 nautical miles back to Noro. We're on a high level of cabin lockdown today because we will be sailing upwind if there is any wind. Such a hot day this morning. There's a light westerly breeze and we need to go west. We've got an 80 nautical mile sail to Noro. So we'll see how we go. Whilst exploring the Isabel province, we had accidentally let our satellite weather subscription expire and therefore not getting a weather forecast. Assuming the wind would be constant northwest, we headed out to tackle whatever came along. Charts are not accurate, but we have this reef here to look out for. 10 metres! Yeah, all good. All good? Yeah. There's a storm that's coming. are ready for this uh, wind and rain that's about to hit us. Um, the other day we watched All Is Lost, it was probably my, the most frustrating movie I've ever seen and uh, it just reminded us to be um, prepared. Vigilant. Vigilant and prepared for everything and act straight away. Don't shave your face. <laughs> Don't shave your face when there's a storm. Just go and get the boat ready, you know what I mean? Gotta look good for the storm. Uh. How's me, mate? It's always a suspenseful and nervous time leading up to when the wind first hits, as you never know how strong the wind will be. This system looked like it had a bit of strength behind it, so we reefed down the main and furled the head sail, sailing into the squall with a stay sail and first reef main. The white caps increased and then 25 knots followed. After banging into the wind and rain for an hour, turning down wind fell to smooth as a baby's bum. The sun started shining as the system passed, so we turned around again, aiming for Noro. Of course the wind then totally dropped out, so we started motor sailing towards the reef pass, hoping to reach the slot and open water before dark. These two weather systems that have uh, started coming down the horizon, they look quite nasty. the last time based on the fact that the slot is going to be a hideous beast by the time we get there with all this wind that we've had so we're gonna go and hide and we're gonna wait for the right wind why is it so hard to do that why is it so hard to turn around so impatient we just just want something but that sailing you just can't have it you can only do what the weather allows you with our tail between our legs, we turned around and headed back to the comfort of our anchorage for another night. The whole day sailing in circles was worth it in the end with this little reward. Sailfish ate that lure. Well, that's pretty cool. That's the first sailfish I've ever caught. 
Oh, we could have kept him and given him to a village or something like that, but I oh, know they're a beautiful fish, so you just want to let them let them fly. <laughs> How good was that? Yeah, he's a he's a free fish. He's yeah. a free fish, but yeah. wouldn't want something to eat. Uh, I know. <laughs> Before I met Yosh, I'd been a vegetarian for more than half of my life and Yosh is from a small fishing town so we had some pretty conflicting ideas and uh, morals about um, catching fish and at the time I was having a lot of iron issues so um, my doctor was pushing for me to eat meat so uh, I started eating fish with Yosh's encouragement and um, so that's where I'm at today. It's taken a long time to get here but I, I spear fish, I fish and everything but I think uh, sport fishing for me is like where I draw the line and Yosh and I both compromise with each other so I'm just really glad that um, we were able to release that uh, sailfish and he, he was swimming uh, pretty strongly as well so yeah uh, I, I'm very happy that he got his sailfish experience but I'm really glad that um, the, the fish got to live as well so both stoked. <laughs> Patrons, head on over to the treasure chest to check out this week's feature vid. What's going on? Squidding is actually super hard. They're like really intelligent. <laughs> so much smarter than I am. I can't get them to... Oh, look, there's a dead fish. Get in. They just don't care anymore. It's like they've figured it out. They've outsmarted me and now they're just moving on they don't even care about my squid jig so, they're really smart seriously think they can hear me <laughs> i can hear you <laughs> you see them yeah get them trying. they just don't care here's a squid here's a... <laughs> one she's got one there's like 20 out there and she's got one Passing needs a lot of work. Once squid know the game, they know what's going on, they are, they don't even care. They're not even they don't even care if I splash the thing on its head anymore. They're like, oh that's just Bonita. <laughs> Calamari cruising by Mix the girl may wanna cry. With four calamari rings each for breakfast, we left our anchorage once more to attempt the 80 nautical mile sail back to Noro. Got much calmer weather today. We've been sailing under full sail. Oh, we had a reef main actually, but we had, yeah, stay sail up and full Genoa. And we've been doing that for the past few hours, but it's starting to get a little bit later in the afternoon and we wanted to get out of the lagoon and into, into the strait. So we've been, uh, we're motor sailing now up into it. We just got a main up and yeah, we're coming up to the reef pass. Between you and me, while Benita's not around, we might do a sneaky once we get through the pass. We'll follow the reef up as well and we'll trawl all the way along to catch some fish. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Clear of the reef pass, a gentle northwest wind begun so we could turn off the engine, hoist some sails, and settle in for a night of upwind sailing. This is my favourite part of every passage, looking out into the endless horizon, being completely surrounded by the elements, the deep blue hues of waves rising and falling, being softened by the sunlight cast across the sky. I sit and feel how Nanji rolls with the waves courageously into the night. This is my happy place, out at sea as the sun is setting. sunset with uh, the light illuminating some clouds in the background and the, the moon was coming out as well so it was absolutely 
stunning. The kind of stunning that makes you just want to say, hey, let's just keep going, you know. And that went on for quite some time. We had lots of lightning through the night though. Uh, some bolts were hitting the ocean, but most of them were just up in, in the clouds, so it wasn't too bad. We were sailing nearly all night till about three in the morning. We were just banging it and loving it, and then we, oh, we got we got this real strong wind, so we reefed down, and then at about four o'clock in the morning, we, we were just trying to come around this headland, and we we're getting ready to finally sail downwind after upwind sailing all night. And as we go to the headland, wind drops out, and we get a full southerly change. And so we come around the headland, and we're just beaten by this southerly squall when we're trying to go south. We had that for like, until the sun come up, it was raining and hammering us with wind. Pushed us like 10 miles off course. And then, then it just dropped out all morning. And so we've been motoring into Nauru, 25 miles or something. We've got about 10 miles left. I don't have any good sailing habits when it comes to overnight passages. I can't sleep. I'm always way too excited about the, the sailing. And then, yeah, all last night, I was meant to be sleeping and I'd come up and I'd have an idea and I'm like, yeah, 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 just full of energy and yeah, so I'm pretty tired now. Pain for it now, <laughs> aren't yeah. you? Yeah, yep. I think we'll sleep well when we get to Noro. Yeah, we will. Oh, so what have you been eating in the last few days? Oh, not much, just cans of baked beans. I think this is my fifth can of baked beans in three days. Is that your lunch? This is just, I'm hungry. Been hand steering for like five hours now. This is like my fifth cup of coffee. How many have you had this morning? Five. It's ridiculous. Nothing worse than motoring on a dead calm day, hand steering. And it's hot, not sweating. There's no wind, so I'm drinking a hot coffee. <laughs> Pointy face. Oh, sticking your bill in where it's not wanted again, eh? Who would win, dolphin or marlin? Dolphin. Dolphin. Marlin. After some very insightful conversations, we finally arrived back in Noro after a long seven hours of motoring. Banana in the kitchen. Ah! Yeah, we went to the shop today. We didn't get any fresh produce, but we got some stuff to make pizzas, and I'm so excited. Yeah, we did. I know, I'm so excited. We got cheese, we got olives, um, and like garlic, and like chili and garlic. We got sun dried tomatoes as well. Like I said, we don't have any fresh produce, but we have enough to make some really tasty treats. Tonight. Something naughty. Josh and I have been working really hard and tonight is our celebration night because we've got another video uploaded and uh, having no Wi-Fi has been really stressful so yay! How yeah. good is it? Yeah! Show me your boogie! Ooh. That's a happy boogie! <laughs> Got some cheese mate! You're dreaming! Dreaming! Done! Alright. Oh, my eyes is like stinging for some reason. Where's the I onion? What's hurting onion? my eyes? I don't know. Is it hurting you? It all? sucks in there. Oh, okay. We had a few beers and pizza celebrating the night before, so everyone was a little slow to get moving on Nanji in the morning. That is one sleeping position, buddy. You comfortable, mate? Or you want us to get you a pillow? Maybe some grapes? Oh, oh. Good work, mate. 
Good work. We are two subscribers away from having 50,000 subscribers. Come on, subscribe. We're tacking our way through the Blackened Strait. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day. We're gonna go and uh, prepare everything to sail to PNG from Gizo because it's much nicer there and they have a wave and everything so we can uh, have a bit of sanity about us while we're working. A big woohoo today because we reached 50,000 subscribers. So thanks to everyone that subscribed and watches our video and follows our channel. Woo! Get me <laughs> have no wind today. We're trying really hard. Trying everything. We just started the motor again, hey? Yeah, we're basically not moving. Even the hold out head sails flapping. In through the black and straight here, the wind's just come up a bit. It's a dead west, so it's blowing against us and the, the currents come from both ways and they meet in the middle, but they're currently both going opposite. So we're going against the wind and against the, uh, the current. So we We've done two tacks, we've gone up one side, we've tacked across, and now we tack on the back on a port tack on the way back up, and we're basically just getting pushed side to side, we're not making any ground west, which is where we're trying to head, so when we get up to the end of this tack, we'll just furl up the head sail, drop the stay sail, and motor. It's not that far though, is for it? For two miles. I think we just need to get past this headland here, and then we'll be sweet. That's another episode of Sailing Nanji. How about those squalls, eh? They just kept coming, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, it was just brutal. We wanted to go somewhere, but you just can't. And without a forecast, it was just wake up in the morning and see what we got. Poke our nose out and have a go. Yeah. Well, it's official. We do have the best following in the world. You guys are absolute legends. In yeah. just a couple of weeks, we've managed to raise enough funds for Nanji to get a wireless and Soon I'll no longer have to be pulled the anchor by hand, so I can't thank you all yeah, enough. Thank like, you guys so much. There's there's a couple of special mentions we need to give to to Zach for a nice little ge generosity in your donation there, mate. And then Michael and Steve, that these couple of lads, Michael come up with the idea, he was sick of seeing me pull the chain, and then Steve, he opted to say he'll match dollar for dollar for people that chuck in, and because of that, we've we've reached our target instantly, and we're stoked. Yeah, we've got a lot of things to fix on Nanji at the moment, so thank you guys so much for helping out. Legends. As always, thank you so much to our patrons for making these videos possible. Uh, we've got some new patrons that have jumped on the Sailing Nanji family bandwagon as well. So thank you guys. We have Dan, El, El Nico, Jacob, Chris, Honor Vandwag, <laughs> Michael, Matt, uh, and Kevin's up this pledge and. Stacey has always also upped her pledge as well. A big welcome back to Ken. Yes. Thanks very much. He used to be one of our patrons and he's been away for quite some time through some personal struggles and he's managed to, to knock that in the butt. So very well done, mate. Very proud of you. And yeah. thanks for watching, Nanji. And thanks for that very emotional letter you wrote to yeah. us. It was very inspirational on our behalf and it was we great that we could help be there for to help you along. So, uh, Ken, it's great to hear that you're on the mend. We're very proud of you and... Uh, yeah, it's great news. Well done, mate. Very well done. Well so done. thanks for jumping back on board the Nanji family. Absolute legend. Yeah. Well done. All right, guys. So we have some pretty big sails up ahead. We're going to be clocking up those nautical miles uh, in the next few weeks. So we should be posting another video uh, next week. And then uh, the time may be delayed um, between videos after that. But we will be posting four videos that month. So. Just, yeah, we'll uh, just be off grid for a couple of weeks, so yeah. don't mind Nanji. Don't mind Nanji. Just having some fun. Hang in there. They're coming, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Best following in the world. Yeah! Coming up next on Sailing Nanji. This is what I've been dealing with today. I need to see a dentist. Not the best place to be fixing your teeth. Everything's dead. We got right. no water, we got no batteries. Ooh. Ah, you know it. Ah. So what are they called? Rabbitan. Rabbitan. <laughs> Good job. 
Thank you. Ooh. You're good. <laughs> Got some sort of infection on my leg. They still stand. Pick up the anchor. <laughs> We're having water issues. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing.